Start with the headline. It's not helping me. And then I, then I see something in the subheader that kind of catches my attention. It says, touch our main features. And while I have no idea what that really means, for some reason my intuitive reaction is, touch our main features? Hell no! What kind of a company is this? Okay, on to the next shiny object, let's see. They're asking me to log in. I've never been here before, so I can't log in. But then, is that really what they're trying to say? So I, I, I turn into a translator now, an interpreter. I'm saying, what are they really saying? I think what they're saying is, for you to show us that you're worthy, that you deserve our marketing, you have to give us all your sensitive information so we can hunt you like a wild animal across the internet forever. And I'm not ready to do that. I'm not ready to do that. So continue. I click it, page reloads. Wasn't expecting that. Then my mega drop down. Woo, here's the video. I click it, page reloads. Ah, okay, back to square one. What can I do now? Ah, a bunch of icons. Awesome. And this one actually says mobile marketing information. I found it. I click it. It's the form. Again. Come on. Come on, guys. Talk to a human. Excellent. A human will help me. Looks like someone is home. Oh, George is not home. So their version of live chat is leave George a message and maybe he'll get back to you. But, 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 the one redeeming factor that makes this a lot better is that I can both print and email the conversation. I'm not happy! <laughs> Trying to get creative. Homepage. Interested in music? No! I'm interested in the demo you promised me. The video? Ah! Says my green, way too much going on. Back to square one. So if I want to keep on procrastinating here and see the video, I, I have to submit to these marketers' will. I have to fall to my knees and do what they want me to do. So I have to fill out the form. My way of getting back at them is giving them some information that's absolutely useless. I'll never be able to use this for anything. <laughs> Come this far. Mousing over, fingers shaking with anticipation. I click it. The demo. What happens? Oh, it's not a demo video. It's a dummy account. And I'm almost, I'm almost totally having a meltdown. I was so close. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, yeah. This too, of course. But here, mobile marketing. Ah, I'm so close. There's a padlock on their warning sign. Shit. Send us an email. <laughs> Why did they drag me through the live demo rabbit hole of hell to get to this? The band producer said, send an email. That would not have been a good experience, but I think it would have been better than this, actually. One chance left. Is George home? No, he's not. <laughs> ah, so after an experience like this, I'm done for, man. I'm just a shadow of the man I used to be. A half human. My pupils are dilated to the size of teacups. I have no idea what I was doing before I went down the rabbit hole here. And I certainly don't want to work. All I really want to do is just sleep for a long time or drink eight liters of cola to resuscitate my brain. Pain? Brain hurting? No, it's just numb by this point. It's gone. So we can kind of even go like, well, Michael, this is logical. And we can stop the whole thing here and say, don't do this, don't confuse people. And I can go, see you next year. Thank you very much. But. In my experience, if we want to be able to avoid these situations, it helps to have a little bit better understanding of why they're so brutal, why they can suck your soul dry in just a matter of minutes. We can get some very interesting answers if we turn to psychology, specifically the work of Daniel Kahneman, brilliant psychologist. He's won Nobel Prize. This is known as the father of behavioral economics. His work fundamentally changed the way I work. If you haven't read his book, Thinking Fast and Slow, please do it. I bet a lot of you have it sitting on your bookshelf. You just haven't gotten to it because it looks intimidating. It's awesome. What I'm talking about today is based on Kahneman's work and the work of Bart Schutz. He is a legit psychologist that I had the fortune, uh, that I was fortunate enough to meet. He works with online persuasion now in the Netherlands, and he's kind of been a mentor for me. In, in my book, he's one of the top guys within the area of psychology and online persuasion. And he has approved all the concepts we're talking about today. Because I'm not a psychologist, I just work a lot. So one of the 
what I'm going to be talking about today, I'm going to, I'm going to present some basic psychology. I'm going to give you two mental shortcuts. By, um, let's call them for now mental shortcuts. And I'm going to give you one psychological principle. Along the way, I'm going to stop here and there and give you a summary of what we just went through the main points. And I'm going to give you actionable items, things you can do when you get home, tips for different tools and techniques. The reason why I'm giving you this is because you can go get it on the landing page afterwards. There's no catch, you just get it there. You can even access it now. But this means that you don't have to think. I'm not going to make your brains hurt because you can find all this stuff afterwards. You just go, okay, interesting, then you can find it afterwards.